Okay, we're going to look at the uh, canvas tag in HTML5 and I'm going to do um, around 10 tutorials um, and it'll be for beginners. So we're going to start at square one. I'm going to use JavaScript. Um, there's been some talk about JavaScript, how object oriented it is and uh, I'm going to give it a fully satisfactory plus. That's what I always got at work. That's the best you could do without brown nosing. Okay, now, uh, are mine going to be the same as everybody else's? Uh, <laughs> no way. I do everything different. You bet. Okay, so um, we're going to uh, start with a hello world and um, Here's what the whole old world looks like. And we are there. And as you can see, um, the doc type, we have to have a doc type. We don't need a doc type, but there it is. And that's only to tell it that it's HTML5. Why they didn't put HTML5 there, I have no idea. But you can see that all you need is a HTML opening tag and a closing tag. Um, and there's your canvas, and the only thing I put in canvas for now was um, was the border, just so we could see what's going on. Um, and then I just put a script tag, and there's the hello world. So there's our hello world, and uh, let's just see if it works. Uh, and I think you can see that it actually works. So we're going to move from there. I want to show you where, where we're going to end up, just so you'll know where we're going, just to see if you want to follow along. And we're going to end up with something that looks like this. Okay, now, this is uh, known as a breadboard, and we're going to use some simple gates. I'm going to explain all the gates, but for now we'll just see there's a gate there, and there's one there, and there's one there. Okay, so let's see what we're going to start with. And we are going to start with, um, we're just going to start in JavaScript. I want to start with uh, JavaScript, JavaScript. I want to use the on onload method, just so everything, we can find everything. And there's a whole bunch of on mouse, on mouse move, on mouse this, on mouse that. There's a whole bunch of them. We're going to use that, and that's how we're going to track everything. You can see how I've tracked the mouse there. There, is, there she is there. Okay. Um, and then the second thing I wanted, the second thing we're going to hit, we're going to hit on rotating objects. Rotate. This is really important. Okay, so you can see that this not object here is facing up and this one's facing sideways, it's facing to the right and we have some facing down um, so we gotta figure out how to rotate objects okay, it's, and it's not as complicated as all that but everybody else leaves that out okay the third thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move from Model space, model space, space, can I spell? Space to world space. Okay, when we're, see if this thing was rotating, I'm, I have it rotating right around this little dot here. And when it's rotating, that, that, that's our origin is zero. But we gotta move, everything's gotta move from zero over to where it's located here. Okay, so that's going from basically uh, to world space from um, model space. If you were in 3D, there'd be another one called camera space and we don't have to bother with that, but that one isn't even, isn't even that tricky either. And we're gonna use um, a function called mul.mul um, because that's the, in high level shader language, HLSL, that's the, that's the function they use to go, from, um, to go from any space, from model space to world space, world space to camera space. This is, but it's only a two-liner, so we're not, uh, 
there's pretty well nothing here is more than a two or three liner. And the other thing is, is I, um, I never indent. I hate indenting. I don't understand why people indent code. Um, I like my code. I like to be able to read it up and down just like uh, reading a pocketbook or something. Okay, so number four, we're going to learn how to track the mouse. Dot, we're going to track the mouse. You can see I've got the mouse up here. And um, it tracks. When I get down here, this guy finds it, that guy finds it. We only need two guys tracking it. That's not all that difficult either. So we're going to do that. And um, it's, it's called hover. When we're, when we're there, we're hovering. Okay. Five. Um, I want to update the logic. This too, pretty simple. Um, this is an AND gate. So um, here's an AND gate. So we need, if we have two reds going into an AND gate, we'll get a red coming out. And we're going to discuss that. And a friend of mine um, wants me to make sure I put in truth tables. And I may put in truth tables if I have to, but that'll be under protest because I don't really think I need them. Okay, so um, then um, we'll have to add, um, we're going to have to add a little bit of HTML code. We'll have to fix that in HTML code and there's a bit of .css code. Um, both of this I only write it once. There's no, there's, so I call it boiler paint, boiler boilerplate code. Um, we just uh, we're just gonna. I'm gonna have one CSS code, one HTML. I'm gonna quickly summarize it, and then I'm just gonna forget it because we really want to concentrate just on the canvas. Canvas will be going. Uh, will be going through pretty thoroughly, and then the last thing I want to make sure is that um, we're going to go from tutorial to tutorial now I've seen it where you start off it's real simple eh? blah blah the guy starts really simple and then around the, the fourth one here it starts to get really complicated in other words there's a real steep jump from here to here now I'm trying my best to make it nice and smooth in other words we should be able to just go from there to there and um, I should explain everything pretty well and it should be just a little I'm just going to add something when I go from here to here I'll be adding something when I go from here to here I'll explain it all and um, I don't think any of my code is longer than uh, four or five lines and I always try to put everything if I, if I need a variable, I usually put it right above where I'm going to use it, so it's easy to find out what it's for. I hate that when uh, you go in there and, uh, and there's a variable and he's, he's done it on page one and, he's, and then you, you get to see it again on page six. Well, I don't do that. Okay, so um, that's about it for the beginning, and that's how it's going to work. So uh, you can see where we're going to go. We're going to go to this, um, this flip-flop latch here. I'm also going to make a, a, an adder, and it's called breadboarding. I may even show you how to do it physically, and uh, I, I might even get into the, how the uh, semiconductors actually work, because pretty well all these are is a little piece of semiconductor, little piece of um, silicon, both of the, all of these things, and then we start building things that are a little bit more complicated. Anyway, that's it for, um, for the introduction. So uh, Charlie Boy is signing out, so good day.